Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over the Mark II wiring for your 1AT engine swap. So the first thing we're going to be doing is identifying if you have a CE1 car or a CE2 car. The second thing we're going to be doing today, we're going to be locating what engine wiring you need to take out. Then we're going to be showing you how to install your plug and play harness to your CE2 box into the engine. Here we go. So the thing I like to do to determine the year of the car is to go to the door jam and look at the year. Um, you also can look at the title but like with my 24 valve the title says it's a 90 and the door jam where I'll tell you guys right now says an 89. So you know we're going to this car and you want to look right here on the door jam and it'll tell you the month and year this car was made. So mine is a 90, so we know it's a CE2 car. So if it's a 90 to 92, you know it's a CE2 car. Late 89s also had some CE2 cars, like my red 24 Vava hat. It's an 89, so I had to look at the fuse box. So now, you know, if you have 89, now we're going to be looking at the fuse boxes to determine if it's a CE1 or C. E2 car. You know, if you have something that's looking like this, this is a CE1 car. And a lot of them, they seem to have this this little screw for CE1 cars or whether it's Westmoreland cars, like this little bracket, 85, 89 with that VIN, this is CE1, this 89, that in the VIN to 92, this is CE2. It does not have that little bracket. It's like a little bracket with a screw. Same thing here, where you'll have the relays on this setup, where it's uh, 85 Golf, GTI, and then you have fuses in another section. Still 85 Golf and GTI, but then you still had it in 86 and 89, like on US production cars. So that same little bracket, same separate fuse panel. So if you guys have, if you're looking at the fuse boxes and you have 89, you're trying to determine if it's CE1 or CE2. If you have this little bracket right here, this is a CE1 fuse box. So I hope that's enough information for you guys. If your box has that little tab that Jeremy was explaining, that's a CE1 box. Um, if you have an 89, uh, late month uh, 89, you also can look if you have a, a CE2 box like this. The CE2 boxes have an unlock thing. You want to unblock that? Yeah. I can't do Sorry. it with one hand. So. so if you guys have this unlocking on the side. So fuses across the bottom, relays across the top. This little lock, too far. It just goes just a little bit. So that unlocks everything so you can take um, the wires out on See, the back. See, all it does is when you do that little lock, it just slides this over. So if you have this locking mechanism, it's a CE2 box. So now we've determined if you have CE1 or CE2. If you have a CE1 box, I'm gonna have a link down below for Eurowise's site. They can make you a plug and play harness for your CE1, 2, whatever engine you want. But in my experience and Jeremy's, CE2 is just a better wiring system. So now that we've determined my car is CE2, we're gonna be going into the engine bay. We're gonna find what engine harness we need to take out. So, you know, when you're pulling the engine, one, if you're unclipping everything from your stock engine, you could put blue tape around all the stuff you unplug from the engine. That's going to make it a lot easier to identify what, you know, engine harness you're going to want to take out. But, you know, you don't have to do that. If the engine's out and you want to identify what harness, what engine harness you're going to take out. So, you know, usually this is how it's run. You know, the body for the lights usually goes all the way up on the back and then it comes around to the front here and these plugs I mean if you can see them these are for like headlights you know these uh, obviously there's a bulb right there so you know this is run this way I'm pretty sure in almost every mark two you know and this is the body harness and this is something we're going to want to keep so this is the body we're going to keep this so we're going to put this you know, kind of get it out of our way so we can get to the other wires. So this is the same thing. Your headlights, your blinkers, your side markers. And with a Mark II, you have two holes in the body. I'm sorry. Two holes in the body. So what we need to identify is which hole we are going to use. So in my experience, and I think Jeremy's also, 
you know, when you guys are looking at the, trying to figure out what it, the engine harness is and the body harness, usually on Mark IIs, we found that the bottom is So, you know, you can leave all that, and the top one is the engine from your original 8 valve or 16 valve um, is what you're going to want to take out. So we're working with the top plug first. So, you know, one of these wires is a body one and you guys are gonna, we're gonna need to identify what this is. This goes to the wiper motor and this stuff is for the engine. Yeah, so this is stuff we're not using. So we, this is stuff, you know, we need to get out of here, but this we're keeping. So we're going mm -hmm. to Cause put, this just goes to, like you said, the wiper motor. Yeah, we're gonna keep this, but just to make it easier, we're gonna wrap it with blue and put what it is. So when we plug it back into the CE2 box, you know, we know what it is. Simple, easy tag. I just wanted to pull the, the rubber boot out of the firewall because it has that little that lip. So I just want to undo that lip on the boot. So as we undo the plugs, I don't have to fight trying to get the plugs back out of the firewall. You know what I mean? Because it kind of stops there. See, I, I, just, I just broke it loose from the firewall. Both of them, because we're going to have to do this. You know what I mean? Then once you unplug it, you're sitting there pushing on this plug. Perfect. They're both free. Now let's go inside. We're going to undo some from the C2 box for you guys. <laughs> First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to unlock it. Uh, right here. Just unlock it. And all it does, it just slides that over. You'll see the little pin. Instead of blocking that little guide pin, it locks it. So unlocks it, so then you can just press this at the bottom. Unlocks that plug. And then it's able to pull out that top pin so if that's in place this is slid over in the lock position I can still pull this that's not going to come out because that pin it's in there so you unlock that pull it out so what I want to do I mean, what what helps a lot of things out with the Volkswagen's uh, their grounding is pretty much always just solid brown um, so, you know, a lot of this stuff, if you see anything that's floating around some standard type of connection and it's brown, it's probably most definitely the ground. Um, so we are going to go with the top plug, it's the engine harness stuff on it. So let's take a look, top, top plug, we'll look at all the wires. So look at, there's a brown right there, follow it back over. Here, look, super easy, just a ground. It's probably gonna fight me because it's natural. Oh, yeah. These things do get very chalky, and it's always good if you have issues. The first thing I do with, I mean, if you have issues with electrical, first thing I do is, oh my goodness gracious, broke. It's just the outside sheathing. It is a ground, so it, uh, you're not hurting anything. Oh, um. So it's very chalky, and you know what? You get all kinds of crazy little electrical issues with just a poor connection. I mean, it's not the greatest. Like this is really normal. This chalky stuff. I mean, you just want to clean it off. I've actually. It's a really weird design to where this is like clipped onto mm -hmm. there. I know I've seen. And it just kind of floats. I've actually taken like, I think put it on this. Look at. I mean, just like that. That's a rusty ground. Yeah, I've actually taken that off and kind of opened that hole up and bolted it to there because it's a solid ground. Let's see what else do we have. So we took out that ground. We got that power. Now let's go right here. So we've already unlocked it right there. Start with here. One plug at a time. Not a big deal. There's one. One thing I love about CE2 is it's in sections so whatever you want to change is an easy fix that's right where those plugins go in the harness isn't it mm, yeah i believe those so. are the threes okay jake pointed out and it's nice because where where we get the, these these wire adapters um the guy uses the correct color of plugs so these three plugs come out and then these new ones will go back into that place. Yeah, so this is the harness yes. that you guys will buy 
the plug and play harness. So the mm -hmm. wires that you just saw Jeremy take out, these three wires on the plug go right back in. So middle, see you can always tell by these tabs too. Middle, off to the, off to the right, off to the right, off to the right. Yep. And they only go one spot. What always helps me is I always just keep kind of going back to that, that top plug and just kind of grabbing it. Okay, we took those out. What's next? This other harness is just kind of like isolated, taped together. It was green. Let's see what's in here. A little, a little hard to see, but it's it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. I'm not racing. Oh, <laughs> it just popped out <laughs> because it's unlocked, and I'm flipping it around. So okay, so and look at that. As beautiful it is, there was no wires that needed to be cut. That Same. was the first top plug. Perfect. And, you know, it's just, yeah, take your time with the plugs. You can only do one plug at a time. You know, I just slowly, like when I unhooked uh, the rubber grommet from the firewall, it allowed me to do this. Yeah, and, and, and what's awesome about it is you cannot plug something into the wrong spot. Yeah, something like the power and ground, you could potentially, but the plugs is very simple. And I pushed all those through. These. Because now, there we go. So now those are the wires that he pushed through. All these are engine wires except for the one that we um, labeled mo wiper motor. So we're going to be cutting into this and saving the wiper motor harness. Everything else we're going to be throwing out. All right, so you saw the wire journey push through um, the firewall. And now we understand, you know, which one, uh, the wiper motor. So now we need to cut into this and just, um, you know, get it apart. And you know, it's funny. This is like all back to why I love CE2, right? So this is for the wiper motor. And it's just ironic that one that pops out of the loom was the wiper motor. See how the colors are the same. It's just, it's just one harness. Like that's how simple it is with CE2. Your blinkers, it's just a simple one harness thing. You know, everything, the ignition, it's all super simple. But I'll just cut down and we'll reuse it and I just kind of tape these, zip tie this, and, and I still utilize this grommet. Yeah, so like I did the same thing on my 24 valve where you cut into it and then, you know, when I'm putting it back together, I zip tied it really nice and mm -hmm. you know, just made it as good as possible. Mm -hmm. well, obviously, like I just, I don't push down into it. I kind of like go at like a weird little angle. I make sure the blade is sharp. I don't go deep. I'm not trying to cut any wires. I just kind of skim it. So we have the wiper um, harness that we got from the top. We pulled the bottom harness that has all the body stuff on it so we could put the wiper harness in with the bottom. So the bottom is just all body harness and the top's just all engine. It's just easier and then we're going to be wrapping this to fit with the grommet. So it's all nicely just body in it. If you guys didn't want to pull the bottom, yes, you could just leave the wiper uh, harness with the top like engine harness when you put the uh, engine harness back in from the 1.8T, but you know, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to wrap it nicely and put it with the body. So it's just body on the bottom, engine harness on top.
So you saw Jeremy wrap this and he wrapped it in with the original body harness. All my body harness now is in the um, bottom hole. With this wiper um, motor was up with the engine, I just didn't want to mismatch it. I just wanted all my body stuff down below. Now I'll have the engine stuff just coming from the top. Sometimes it's easier, like, I don't like the way this looks. Like, I like the way this fabric looks. So what I personally have done with my projects, and I will always do, is I'll just do like I did with that razor blade. I'll cut this all off. I'll separate all this, and I'll actually, because this, it just lays here, like this, I'll cut this thick stuff off and make it like a sleeker, one-piece wire with this nice black um, friction tape or whatever you want to call it. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll cut this off, I'll cut this off, and I'll kind of rewrap re -wrap everything. So I'll kind of hide it as much as I can. Like it just so it's, it just looks clean, as clean as we can make it. I, I want it to be look like factory, but still be cleaner than factory. We're gonna be doing it on the ground for you guys so you guys can see it just a little bit uh, clearer. Okay, so this was, if you guys remember from earlier in the video, these are the three plugs from the factory eight valve engine management. So this is what we took out. We've gotten rid of the three plugs. Okay, now we have this this harness that can be purchased. The link will be down below. So this is three plugs. It looks a little <laughs> looks a little confusing. There's a bunch of plugs here, but it's no big deal. Uh, I do remember it was somewhere in the bottom. So let's just check it out. See what we got. There's three plugs. They can only be plugged into one spot. So one is in the middle, and they kind of go like they're going somewhere. So that looks like that one right there. Oh damn, I was right. So look at that. So that goes into there. This, it's tight. I mean, obviously, it's a custom harness, so you guys don't want to be tugging on anything, just being very careful with everything. Plugging this into there. Plugging this into there. Okay, so we've got that plugged into there, so this is in through the firewall. This is going to be for the, for your 24 valve Mark IV, uh, 12 valve Mark IV, the 1.9 TDI, uh, ALH, and BEW, and of course the 1.8T, which we will be using for the swap. The firewall is here, this is here. Okay, and I just kind of set things up, and this is obviously not how you're gonna do it. It's gonna be in the car. Um, and we'll be showing you again when we actually put it into my car, but we're just not there yet. We're just trying yeah. to, we've been getting a lot of comments and DMs from everyone, and we're just kind of showing you guys now. And it's easier just to see it, you know? I mean, it looks so confusing seeing yeah. everything and all these other plugs. So, <laughs> this is how you're gonna get the harness from the 1AT. So, no. so this is the engine harness that will be on the 1AT. Um, and it's just plug and play with the harness adapter. They make it super simple Like okay, so I can't plug it in that way same as the CE2 box Plugs in color to color Plugs in Plugs in this blue one here Goes to the gas pedal which is just this little harness. Um, you can, it can be purchased or you can just get it at a junkyard. Which I've done and it's, uh, it takes a while, but I mean, you can, it's doable. Mm, it doesn't go that way. Goes, <laughs> doesn't go that way. It goes, it goes that way, <laughs> I, I apologize. Okay, so this would go over towards the electronic gas pedal. Which we'll get into which, when we're there. Yeah. Okay, so this, this is it. So, so obviously this would come off, you know, and, and kind of lay things in. Like, I like to lay things in and see how it is, see how it looks clean, and then kind of like take electrical tape and wrap in, in joints where I want it to go. So this is all inside the car. Mm -hmm. You know, this part of the harness, you're gonna push through, and this is the only thing from the harness you'll have out here. I know this is probably rough, trying to visualize all this but we'll you know we'll do it again when we're actually putting it in but so from this point on this is all in the engine bay here on the engine from this point in here this is all inside the car 
and you can usually tell where what needs to be inside the car because the wires are protected going outward. So if you guys need the harness, the link will be down below. You can email him what you need and he can custom make it for you, different lengths, whatever you need. And I understand some of you that are probably watching this have done these swaps before and no different ways to do it, but this is, I'm trying to just basically do this for a beginner. This is the best way that I could come up, you know, buying this harness, it's the easiest way. Yeah, they're spending a little bit more money, but it's the easiest way to adapt the CE2 Mark II to a Mark IV engine. So I wanted to give a quick thanks to Child, Child's Garage on YouTube, if you guys wanna check him out, for supplying me with the 180 harness for today's video. So that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I really hope it helps some of you out. I've been getting a lot of DMs and comments, um, and that's why we kinda you know, put this video together. I am nowhere near being ready to install the engine when I'm actually gonna have all these things to plug in and keep, you know, for, you know the last time so um, i really hope this helps you out if it helped you out please leave a like and a comment if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe um you know i, I look at the um statistics sometimes and i have a lot of people that watch my videos but they're not subscribed and you know it helped me out a lot if you did so i hope this helps somebody out i'll see you guys next video we're going to be helping you guys Untangle wires. <laughs> and saving the wiper motor harness and everything else we're gonna be throwing out. Dude, this GoPro is so hot. Hey! <laughs> so, I think we should do that first. The GoPro is so hot. What? The this, GoPro is so oh, literally no, hot. Yeah, I know. I thought like, you were like, oh, so sick. No, no, no. It's like, oh, dude, you got a booger hanging out. Oh, sweet. I wonder how Thanks. long that's been there. Damn. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs>